Hello, Tom, my Padawans. I'm your Jedi Master today, and today is the release of The Last Jedi. Um, it is currently almost 4 o'clock right now, and yes, there's a there's a pink wind cap on my microphone. It's wireless, um, and it needs a wind cap, so I just grabbed the first thing I saw. Um, but yeah, it's uh, currently, I, as you can see, I'm in the studio. Uh, <laughs> um, my premiere or my, uh, showing is not until midnight. I am pretty excited about that, um, to just go and hang out with all the Star Wars fans and do everything like that. Um, so yeah, um, I won't be able to bring this camera that I have right here inside. Um, I know this is more vloggy style video, but I just wanted to show off the premiere of The Last Jedi, and I'm going to be filming uh, most of it on my cell phone. Um, I have a little Rode microphone that goes onto the cell phone that I'm going to be using. Um, so yeah, uh, just excited to get this started, and yeah. Okay, so I know it's really dark. Um, I'm in my car. I got my these lights on. They're not doing a lot, though. Um, and let me go and start the car. Um, it is currently 9 o'clock. I am actually leaving a little early to try and uh, get in there and maybe hang out with some of the cosplayers that are going to be there. Because uh, last year, whenever I went to see Rogue One... Uh, they had this professional, like, cosplay team and stuff. Um, and it was pretty cool. It was really nice and really legit. Um, so, yeah, uh, I was just thinking, like, go, uh, see the cosplayers, hang out, um, play a few, uh, games on the arcade machines and do all that kind of stuff, so... Um, I'm gonna vlog with this camera all the way there, and then whenever I get inside, I'm gonna switch to my phone. Okay, I am currently on the road right now. I know it's gonna be a, a little hard to see me, um, all the way there, uh, but just bear with me. Uh, I'll go under, I'm be, gonna be going under a couple lights. Uh, the first Star Wars movie I saw as an adult was, uh, Force Awakens. And I'm at a light right now. Turning right. Turning right is legal in the state that I live in. Or turning right and red is legal in the state that I live in. Um, but yeah, Star, uh, The Force Awakens was the first Star Wars movie I saw as an adult. Uh, the first Star Wars movie I saw in theaters was Attack of the Clones. Um, I was pretty young whenever Attack of the Clones came out, um, and I, it was, uh, my first Star Wars movie in theater, uh, up until that point, I had actually not watched The Phantom Menace in the theater, because the year that it came out, I was only, like, I was a toddler still, I don't, I don't even, because I can't remember when The Phantom Menace came out right now, um, but I was still a toddler, and, um, I was pretty young whenever Attack of the Clones came out too, but I was a little bit older, and I, it was, uh, during the time whenever you could develop memories, um, and, uh, I remember loving the whole experience of going to see it, and then I saw Revenge of the Sith, uh, I believe it took a little longer for Revenge of the Sith to come out, um, and I had a great time. I loved Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I still like Revenge of the Sith a lot. I think it's the best out of all the prequels, um, because it doesn't. Ha it still has that awkward dialogue, but it's more of a Star Wars movie. Um, and then uh, the Clone Wars movie came out, uh, and I, I I do know that the Clone Wars movie came out in two thousand eight, and I want to say I I don't think I was in high school yet. But I was, I was a teenager, I believe, um, if I can math. I'm not that, uh, uh, another thing about me, I don't, I'm not that good at math. Um, but, uh, the Clone Wars came out in 2008, and I believe I was a teenager when I went to see it. Um, 
And I remember not... I, I, I didn't think that it was awful, but I didn't like it that much. Um, and then the Clone Wars TV series came out and just completely blew it out of the water. It changed everything. Um, it changed the entire dynamic, and that guy needs a muffler. Um, but it changed my entire viewpoint on the Clone Wars up to that point. Uh, I loved the TV show, and... Uh, I thought it was amazing, as most people did. Um, and then The Force Awakens came out in 2015. And I remember I was, um, I think 19. I, I, I could be wrong. Um, again, not good at math. Um, but I was, I was young, or I was a young adult. Uh, and it was the first time that I had seen a Star Wars movie uh, as an adult and I thought wow this movie's amazing <laughs> so uh, I went with my friends um, and then obviously last year I went to go see Rogue One a Star Wars story and I had so much fun um, they had the like I said they had this professional cosplaying team there um, and uh, it was really chill because I actually went late at night and um, it was really chill because there weren't a lot of people. Um, I, I I had a fun time with uh, whenever I went to see Rogue One. But anyway, I am actually going to stop in here because I'm buying candy that I'm gonna sneak in. Shh. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hopefully. Uh, uh, I'll be back out here in a minute, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got I got the illegal candy. It's not illegal; it's just illegitimate. Um, and for those that don't know, uh, I know um, my mom. Whenever she uh, would take us to the movies, she would hide in her purse. For me, uh, this has been kind of how the way I snuck in uh, the last two times. Um, I wear a hoodie of some sort, um, and I will, and there's these pockets on it. <laughs> I feel, I feel like I'm telling you how to do something bad. I am, but, um, but I would put them in my pocket. Um, there's been times that I've, uh, whenever I went to see Rogue One, I stuffed one down the waistband of my pants and covered it like that. Um, I was so afraid that they would hear me walking and crunching at, or walking and, uh, crinkling. Um, I do buy a drink, uh, whenever I get there because I want the souvenir cup and I get free refills and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the candy's so overpriced. Um, and also the first thing I do whenever I did, whenever I got into this car is I lock the doors because the minute somebody sees this giant ass camera, uh, in in my car, they're gonna be like, "Man, I should rob that guy." I, I'm I'm a little paranoid with that. Uh, this camera's this camera costed a lot of money. Um, so yeah. So anyway, uh, I this little Walgreens is um, literally right around the corner from my. Uh, theater the theater I go to the the charm of going to see Star Wars is knowing that you're around a lot of Star Wars fans that are there to enjoy Star Wars like you are and want to have a good time and um, and you get all different kinds of people you get the uh, the cosplayers you get the let me push this back in over, uh, you get the cosplayers, you get the people like me who are the fanatics, but we don't cosplay. Um, you get the uh, role players, the, you get everybody, and they're all awesome. They're all very amazing people, um, and they're all part of the Star Wars fandom, and they're fun to hang out with. It's good to see what uh, the different uh, sides of the fandom. Um, and just chill with them. Even in the cosplayers, Star Wars cosplayers, some of the coolest people in the world. I don't know what it is. They like take a cool pill or something. All right, I am here. I'm going to go ahead and start loading up. Um, going to hide this camera in my car. 
and I will switch to my phone uh, whenever I'm walking through the parking lot. But uh, when I, uh, I will have to briefly turn it off inside because I do uh, my tickets on my phone. So I will see you guys inside. All right, I'm here at the um, movie theater, and I feel like I'm talking quietly, but it's just because I don't have a lot of reverberance um, from my car. And I, hopefully I have my keys. Ooh, ooh. Oh wait, here they are. Make sure my car was locked. Okay, so I play a few games and um, yeah, I'm heading to the um, theater or the place now and I got the IMAX 3D. <laughs> uh, why not? Okay, that's where you turn the glasses. Here at the glasses. Do I want red or do I want gray? Uh, I think the gray is for the adults and the red is for the kids. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm a kid. <laughs> I pay me. I can hear lightsaber battles going on over here somewhere. Alright, so they're actually doing a showing right now. Um, so I'm waiting for that showing to end because I have the midnight showing. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll see. Who here in this theater is brave enough to raise their hand to show that they've never seen a single Star Wars movie or TV show? Seriously? Get out. That's serious. Get out right now. You saw someone Leave. Out. Leave. <laughs> Okay, so I am out of the theater. I just filmed uh, the uh, little mini review that I did in my car. Um, hey, you, you guys might have seen that already. You might not. 
Um, but to be honest, uh, I really enjoyed that. That was an insane thing. Um, and seeing it at midnight with all the Star Wars fans, and as you saw, the 501st was there. They're a professional cosplay group. Um, and they do a lot of good work for charity. And before I even get these comments, whenever we were saying, like, leave to that one guy, we were joking. <laughs> um, we were 100% joking. I just want to make that clear because... I know I'm going to get the comment, oh, why are you picking on that poor guy? Uh, he didn't do anything. He just hasn't seen Star Wars. He's new to the Star Wars fandom. I, we were joking. Um, we, well, I, I want, as a matter of fact, um, I want you guys to go down in the comments right now and welcome that guy to the Star Wars family. Let, uh, by the off chance that he might watch this video. Um, go ahead and welcome him to the Star Wars family. Because I would, I would actually really love that if you guys did that for him and for me. Um, and, uh, if he does happen to watch the video, also say, like, welcome to the Jedi Master, uh, the, um, Jedi Master's Padawan. Um, because you guys are my Padawans. And, uh, you know, I, I love you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, but it, it, that was really enjoyable. There were a couple of things, uh, as I said in the little mini review, the, there were a couple of twists that I, it, they weren't exactly in my speculation of what I wanted out of the film, but at the same time, I wasn't disappointed in the way things went. Um, it's just that I wanted them to go one way because, it, I mean, if whenever you have yourself in the mindset, you tend to uh, want things to go one way and then they go some other way and you're like, oh, that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, it, 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 and, uh, it was a very good movie. I would say that it was even better than The Force Awakens. And I really, really liked The Force Awakens. I thought The Force Awakens was like lightning in a bottle uh, kind of a deal. Because um, whenever The Force Awakens came out, it was in the wake of us um, remembering that the prequels weren't all that good. Uh, remembering how how CGI heavy the prequels got and how much it, how, how much the prequels kind of uh, crapped over the franchise that we had grown to love and it was also in the wake of the special edition DVDs um, the 2011 re uh, blu-ray re-release of the special edition DVDs, and we we're just kind of like, and I was even really skeptical whenever the trailer for The Force Awakens first came out. Um, I was like, this is gonna suck, it's gonna be just like the prequels and all that kind of stuff. And whenever I watched it and saw how good it was, I thought it was like lightning in a bottle, but it turns out that it wasn't. It was, it was much more than that. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you want to see my little mini review, it will be at the end of the video here. Um, and I will put a little card. It's probably up here, if I had to take a guess. Um, and, yeah. So, uh, and obviously, if you want to see the full review, I will also have it at the end here. And... Uh, and I'll have a li link it to it and all of it into this description box below. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys so much. Um, you guys know that you're my Padawans and I love you guys. And uh, we're, we're, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the entire experience coming together with the 
fans of Star Wars, uh, and watching this insane movie that was, uh, just the second part of a very hopeful future for, or a very bright future for the Star Wars franchise. Um, or actually technically the third part because Rogue One, uh, was the second movie to come out after Disney acquired the rights. Uh, but regardless of that, <coughs> um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know that vlogging really isn't kind of the style of this channel. Usually it's kind of scripted content. Um, but I really wanted to capture this because I didn't do it with Rogue One. I just kind of did the the reviews with Rogue One. Um, I really wanted to make it a, th a thing out of this. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and just being there and being part of the Padawan family and being part of the uh, Star Wars family, it's so amazing. So if you did enjoy this, please give it a like. It does help out a lot. Tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the Force be with you. Always.